And welcome to yet another edition of the Build a Button online design tool tutorial series. Today we are going to talk about the background tool and opacity. And so let's start out with backgrounds. Over here in our left-hand navigation bar, if you click on backgrounds, it will give you a couple of different options, either get backgrounds or background color. Let's start out with the color option. If you click that, you will see a number of different swatches here with preset colors that you can choose from greens to blues to reds. And you can also go down here and you can use our color picker. And if you just click and drag, you'll see just a rainbow of colors go by. You can choose whichever shade of any color that you want or just type in the hex code directly and it'll be there. Just hit okay and you're all set and ready to go. But in the event that you don't want a color and that you would like an image, you can click on this button here for Get Backgrounds. And this will bring up your Upload Image tool. Hit Browse and you can choose an image from your desktop. And we are going to use this lovely image of a mountainscape. Uh, so you click Upload and it goes right in there. Now, let's say that you want to change where the, where the image is, the centering, um, move it up or down. We've got you covered. First off, you can rotate it. So if you go here and click the up and down buttons, it will rotate it in different directions. Go back to zero for normal. And then you can also move it right or left or up and down along the X and Y axis. And you do that by clicking these tools right here going up or down, left or right, get it exactly where you want it. So let's say that we want the peak of that mountain, this right here, to be all the way at the top. And then what we would do is click that down all the way until we have it right there, and then we've got it perfectly in the spot that we want. So, and you can do that with these tools right here. You can also change the size, so you can zoom out if you want to, you can zoom in, whatever you want to do, we've got you covered here with the background tool. Okay, now you can also change the opacity of it. So if you don't want it to, if you want it to 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 be look a little bit almost more clear, you can hit the you can hit the down button here. A hundred is obviously the top, the the highest that it goes. But then you can also hit the down button, and you can see it start to get a lot lighter, and, and the background starts to come in, uh, which will be a lot more obvious when we use this tool on images and shapes, which we will here in just a minute. So let's leave it at ninety. And you can also do this for text as well. So let's say that you want to add some text. Let's go to our text tool. Click to add uh, best mountain, spell it right, best mountain climb ever, right? Let's curve it up. Uh, down there at the bottom, hit X. We can also change the color of that. Here's your quick review here of the online button design tool. And then if you want to change the opacity of your text, then as long as you're over here in formatting, go over here to opacity where it says 100. And again, you can hit the down button. You can hold it so it goes quicker. And let's say we go down to 50. You can see how now you can see more of the background and the text starts to blend in a little bit. Okay. Now, again, you can also do this with images and with shapes. So if we go to shapes, let's add an arrow. And if we add our arrow, then let's change the color of that arrow which we will do right here by clicking on it. You got to make sure that you have it selected. So let's get our arrow. Actually, let's make it black. And then we can actually change the size of it as well right over here. And so let's say that we want to point at this peak right here. Maybe this is a peak that we climbed. So we want to make sure that we have that. But we don't want that arrow to be, to have such, uh, to be so bright, to stand out so much. We want to change the opacity of it. Make sure it's selected, and you can do that right here. Let's take that down to 50. You can see how if you just drag it, it'll go all the way down. You can even type it in, too, if you want to. So we've got that. And now let's add an image. So if we add a photo, let's upload a photo. And I've got a nice, fun little mountain climber prepared here that we can add in. So it tells us it's a low resolution picture, which is okay for the purposes of this tutorial, although you do want to make sure you have as high res pictures as possible for it to look good. Let's add him right over there. Make sure he's selected. And again, we can change his opacity a little bit so he blends into the background. Put him at 50. And voila, we've got our mountain climber. We've got the arrow. We've got our text. We've got our background image exactly where we want it to go. And as long as everything looks how we want it to, of course, we end every button designing excursion the same way. Go up here to file and save, hit save to print, and you are all set and ready to go.